Hey guys, it's Danny. Welcome back to Creepy Crafty Days where I'm sharing a video every single day this month. For today's video, I'm going to be turning these little containers from Daiso and these little spoons into little sequin mix kits. So if you want to see how I created these, they are super duper cute, just keep watching. So before you do any cutting of papers or anything like that, you want to grab your chosen container. These ones are from Daiso. So they have three small compartments and one longer one. You'll also need a ruler. So go ahead and measure how wide your container is. So mine is two and a half inches and then measure how tall it is as well. So mine is one inch. So go ahead and add those measurements together so that your paper can go all the way around. So two and a half plus two and a half is five, plus one is six, plus another one is seven. And then go ahead and add a half of an inch for a, the little bit of overlap so you can apply your glue. So, so if your container is a different size than mine, that's totally fine. Just measure each of the sides going around, add up those numbers, and then add a half of an inch and you should be fine. So to get started, you will need some strips of scrap of paper. Here I have just a few various sizes of scraps. And go ahead and grab your paper trimmer or whatever you use to cut down your papers. So you want to cut your papers so that they are seven and a half inches by three and five eighths inches as well so that your final piece of paper looks like this. I'm gonna go ahead and do two more just to get them cut down. So seven and a half. And because this one has like a vertical pattern, I wanna make sure that the spiders are kind of centered along my strip vertically. So I'm going to cut a little bit beyond three and five eighths and then flip it around and then trim at three and five eighths. And this should make my pattern just a little bit more centered, which if you don't care about that kind of stuff, you don't have to worry about it. And then this one, I'm going to cut again to three and five eighths. So, and then trim this down to seven and a half. And then once you have all of the papers cut, go ahead and grab your scoring board, scoring tool, the container that you're using, as well as your papers that we just trimmed down. So my little case is two and a half inches from here to here. So I'm going to score at two and a half. And then it is one inch tall. So then I'm going to score at three and a half inches. Do another two and a half inches because we want the paper to wrap all the way around. So that would be one, two and a half, so it's six. And then one more inch at seven. And then there is my paper. So let me go ahead and do that a few more times. So two and a half, three and a half, six and seven, two and a half, three and a half, six inches and seven. And then once you have them all scored, go ahead and fold along the score lines. If you are making your very first one of these, I would just use some scrap paper and make a tester to see if it is indeed the right size before you cut into a bunch of pattern papers. But here you can see mine will fit perfectly inside of there. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold up the rest of these and I'll be right back. Once you have all of your papers scored and folded, go ahead and grab an adhesive. I'm going to be using the Tombow Extreme because it is my favorite and I know that it will not fall apart in the mail. You want to apply your adhesive on this little half inch strip that we left as an overhang. So go ahead and put some adhesive there and then kind of roll up your paper line it up at the edges press down and there is your little sleeve so let's make sure this fits and it does 
So that is what you should end up with. It's like a decorative sleeve. So the reason that I did the sleeve is because the top of the case does not open as one, you know, continuous piece. It actually has little compartments. And I really did not want to try to measure out and make little separate, you know, paper or whatever's for this. So I figured a little like sleeve type situation would be really cute. It would let me still decorate it. And then when my pen pal has used up all the goodies that are in the little container, they can repurpose it however they want. They're not committed to a Halloween design or whatever. So, so it's just a really easy way to kind of jazz up a fun little container that you might have. So let's go ahead and finish up these other two little sleeves real quick. So again, just add some adhesive to that small half inch flap. Make sure everything is lined up nicely. Like so. so. There's another one. And this is the last one. So you can see the adhesive. Like so, and there's that one. So at this point, let's go ahead and fill up the little containers and then we'll come back and decorate the outsides. So this is what the containers looked like from Daiso. They were in the medicine section um, along with all the other like pill reminder containers. So if you go to Daiso and you're looking for these, try looking over there. They did also have larger ones and smaller ones, all different sizes and shapes. So. Definitely go check out your Daiso if you have one. And then my Daiso over in like the food or plate aisle or whatever had these tiny little mini spoons and I thought they would be perfect to include in these little containers in this longer spot right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some of these out as well. And there are 30 in the package. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably just put a couple in each of these containers. 30 is a lot and I can always go back and get more and then if my pen pals happen to lose one of the little spoon things then they have more <laughs> let me go ahead and put all these in here real quick see and they fit in there perfectly and the other fun thing about this larger container is that if my pen pal wants to mix up some of the different sequins that are going in here and make their own little mix they can do that right there and then have all of it together so that is what we're working with so far so let me zoom you guys in so you can kind of see more close what we're doing so i recently went by michael's and picked up these packets of sequins it comes with small medium and large size so i got the black the purple as well as the orange. So this is perfect. So what I'm going to do is open each of these up and I'm pretty sure that like one of these little bags will fit really nicely in one of these little containers. So this is perfect. I have nine little baggies for nine little containers and it will be fine. That way I can mix and match what I give to different people. So let me go ahead and open this. I'm gonna start with the black. These are nice because they're all kind of separated. So for these small black ones, I'm going to put these, I think, here in the middle section of this one. I'm going to try to fill this up as much as I can because I really don't need a ton more sequins in my stash. You guys know I'm trying to use up my stash and stuff. So if I can give all of these away, that's totally fine. All right, so those are all in there. So I think I'll just go ahead and repeat that for the other two boxes with the other two sizes of the black sequins. So I will be right back. All right, so I've got all the black sequins in here. I have the small, the medium, and the larger ones. So now I'm going to put in the orange and I'm going to try to alternate the sizes. So for the box that got the small, tiny black sequins, I'll probably do like the medium size orange. For the medium size black, I might do the large orange. And then for the largest black, I might do the tiny orange. So I'm just gonna try to kind of mix it up. That way, whoever receives these can make a fun little sequin mix with different size sequins. So I'm going to go ahead and add all these orange ones in and I will be right back. So here you can see what I mean by trying to alternate the sizes. So I have the smallest black sequins here, the largest orange ones. And then now I'm going to start adding in some purple ones. So for this particular box, I will use the medium size. That way my pen pal gets, you know, a small, a medium, and a large size sequin 
fun to make their own mix with. So let me go ahead and add in the purples and then we will get to the decorating of the little sleeves. All right, so these are the filled up boxes. I think they're super cute and I think my pen pals will enjoy using the sequins either together to make a mix or including them in their own custom mixes using sequins they already have. But let's go ahead and start decorating the little sleeves. So I'm just going to pop these on here and then decorate right on top. I figured that might be the easiest way to do it. So there are those. So I did pull out some supplies to decorate with. So I have some of these stickers that I created using my friend Serena B's paper cakes designs. I also have this set of chipboard stickers from Crate Paper After Dark that I had left over from last year, as well as some stickers that are new to me this year. I also pulled out a few little dimensional stickers just in case I want to use them. And then I think the final thing that I will use is maybe some orange baker's twine. I think that'd be really cute. And maybe some washi tape. So let me look and see what washi tape I've got. So the spiderweb one is almost gone, so I want to try to use it. And then this orange one is new to me from Target this year. I was so happy to find more glitter orange washi tape because mine was almost out. I have since used it up, but let's go ahead and get started. So I am going to kind of pre-plan just a little bit. I do also have jemmies too, so I can use those as well if I want to. So let's see. Some of these are off cut a little bit, so I have to be kind of picky about which ones I use. But like this little eek pumpkin is really cute. Maybe I will try to use him. Uh, this little spider web is still usable, so I'll pop him off too. And then I was thinking maybe this little tag would be really cute too. Maybe the big glittery orange pumpkin. Maybe I could use this one. Actually, no, I want to use the tag. I think the tag is pretty stinking cute. All right, so I've got these guys. I'm just going to keep them on my hand. I was thinking of adding some baker's twine around here first, maybe like this way to keep the little sequin mix in there. That might be kind of a cute idea. I think I might just use a little bit of washi tape to hold it in the back. That way I don't have to tie any knots or anything and my pen pal can reuse the twine. Let's just do it that way. Put my washi tape on there. So I'll go ahead and do that for the other ones as well. This one is actually in there upside down. All right, so there are those. All right, so I'm thinking maybe the spider web would be cute on this one. A little bit of glitter washi tape. actually add a little bit of the extreme adhesive on the back just to make sure things don't go anywhere. This one's on there pretty good. This one's on there pretty good. Okay, so we've got those guys. Super cute. I love the orange glitter. I think it's a nice little touch. Let's see. I could do like a chilling. There. Focus there. And maybe Happy Halloween, actually. Here we go. And I was thinking of using these. I don't know if they will exactly work now. So maybe just some of these little puffy stickers and some jemmies. See, I love these little ghosties. They are super cute. Put them on there. That guy. Now 
some of these little bat guys would be really cute too. And these are from my friend Serena. And then do we want any jummies? Because I feel like that's kind of a lot that's already on there. Maybe just a few. Add a little bit of sparkle. So those are my finished sequin boxes. I think they are super cute. I love how there's a variety of sequins in there as well as those little spoons, which are super duper handy. I really love how the little paper sleeves turned out and I think that they'll be so much fun to include in my happy mail. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you are not already and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you loved it. If you missed yesterday's, you can click up here. If you want to join in all the fun crafty shenanigans happening over in the crafty club this month, you can click right here. And if you want to subscribe, which I really hope you do, thank you so much in advance, you can click right here and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.